Ambassador Kaliuran, you said a bit earlier that you don't know what's in Mr. Putin's head per se, but I wonder if you think that uh, this is indeed an attempt by him in particular uh, to try to recreate the, the, the Soviet empire. As you said, uh, he said that what happened, the breakup of uh, the Soviet Union was the greatest geopolitical catastrophe uh, you know, in history for him. And one has to wonder, um, what, what's behind these moves? Um, does, is he interested in trying to give birth to that so-called Eurasian Union? Um, you know, what do you think is, is going on and what is his ultimate objective? Again, it's very difficult for me to speak on behalf of him, but at least the signs show that, yes, he seems to, he, his foreign politics is very revanchistic. He is, he's trying to create a new union. It won't be the Soviet Union as it was before 91, but another union. He's bribing countries, he's using force against countries, he's using carrots to try to involve countries. Yes, he's trying to do that. And it's now up to the countries uh, whom he's putting under the pressure. It's up to them to decide whether they want to be part of the union, whatever will be the name of the union, in whatever form it will be, but which so much reminds us the Soviet Union, or they want to have freedom, democracy, and normal development. Back to what Vladimir Putin maybe is looking to do. Um, do you think, in fact, he would like to see sort of the breakup of Ukraine, take the East, or just sort of destabilize the country enough to keep it from governing, keep Kiev from, from being able to really govern? Uh, and of course, using other tools like raising gas prices, uh, coercing Ukraine into an alliance more with Russia and trying to minimize Western influence and certainly discouraging any kind of associa association agreement with the EU, let alone membership. Um, what about those specific uh, thoughts? Again, difficult to say what is on, on his mind, but reading from the signs and reading from the concrete actions, it seems to me that he would like to have Eastern Ukraine southern Ukraine, the same way as Crimea, part of the greater Russia or bigger Russia, how, how it is referred to. And, and I think that uh, uh, official Russia has also said it publicly that they don't have problem with the western part of Ukraine being more aligned with the, eastern, uh, with the EU, but they do want to see eastern and southern part of Ukraine as part of wider, wider Russia. At the same time, in spite of the propaganda, and in spite of the propaganda war that's going on in Ukraine, today we see that even the Russian-speaking population in East Ukraine, in South Ukraine, does not support, does not want to be part of Russia and sees uh, their future as citizens or residents of Ukraine and sees their future more close to, the, to Europe. Mm -hmm. So even although the propaganda war is good, I think it hasn't achieved the aims in Ukraine. And that's, again, one of, the, one of the parts where we can be successful, disseminating information, letting uh, information from, from, from Europe and information about Europe mm -hmm. to reach the Ukrainians.